Welcome to Kid Nation Extra, everybody. We're just uh, still getting ready for the TV show. Jenna's getting her lips Al? her lips on. Uh, Al is getting makeup. Al's oh. getting makeup done. I'm doing some... Lip action? Well, I'm just like going for this red look today. Uh-huh. So like less eye makeup, red lip. Less eye, more lip? Yeah, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You're never supposed to do like a strong lip with yeah. a lot of eye makeup. Oh. So like just a little light eye makeup. I want bronzer. Bronzer. I, th I think. I think. Tanner? I think so. And uh, some white thingies under my eyes, little lines. And then he Concealer. Brushed. Yeah, that thing. That yes. was cool. You have shadows. Cool. It's fun times. We had fun at our, at our viewing party yesterday, Some though. I just had more, so much fun we forgot. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Part-time Justin. Have you heard from Alan after the talk on the radio? No, well, he just... I just told him, I said he did, you know, need a little positive reinforcement. I said, you did good on the radio, babe. He did. He did. So, yeah, it was just... It was really just kind of an awkward thing. You know, when someone's really drunk and you don't know what they're going to do, so you just kind of have to... Oh, Justin. It was just an awkward moment. Yeah. He handled it well, though. Alan yeah, handled it very well, well yeah. yeah. Big Al Mac is made up. Hi, kids. What's up, buddy? Get my makeup, dude. Being very loosey-goosey with the Kid Nation Extra today. How'd it go, Al? Oh, well, I mean, they did the best they could with what they had to work with. Yeah. Did you guys watch the Bachelorette Mentel all last night? No. no. I actually enjoyed it. And I think it's because I didn't watch the season in full effect mm -hmm. to where I was able to be recapped with all the goofy parts. And all, they had so many dingleberries on that show this year. Really? Yeah, they just had a bunch of guys that are just... I don't know how. That's true every every season. Yeah, yeah. So Dingleberry is just like a totally okay word to say. I don't know, but we're on on I the internet. In, I remember <laughs> when I was in school, a boy got in trouble for saying that in class. Yeah. For saying a, Dingleberry? Yeah. Is it's, it the same level, like as saying DB? Probably. I didn't know it was. Yeah. Uh, around I thought it was it's it's a, false. It is. It's, it is. But I'm saying, is it the same level of inappropriateness as saying like douchebag? Yeah, it's, it's down douche there in the same region. But I think yeah. that one's a little stronger. Which Dingleberry? One? The the DB one. It's stronger. You think that DB is stronger than that DB? Yeah, because like... When it's all DB. When, when Cheddar calls me Dingleberry, I'm like, ah, that's cute. <laughs> but if I get called a, a douchebag... Yeah, that's an insult. That hurts yeah. my feelings. Well, uh, some people are self-aware. My buddy that came to eat with us last night. Yeah. He, Eddie? Uh, Eddie, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, um, I met him. He, um, he drove his nice car. He goes, hey, man, is there any place to violate park down there? Because I'm driving the douche mobile. And Do you then have he, a Lamborghini. And then He's he goes, the one with the Lambo. And then he goes I saw that Lambo. Lambo. Yo, that thing was cool. He needs to put a car seat in that bad boy because it's like. Oh, why well, you got to make fun of his height? <laughs> we do it all the time. It's kind of our bit. He's a nice guy. I think he must make up for his height with his bank account. I guess. Yeah. He's I a guess. Lambo. That yeah. car was. Uh, my workout oh, buddy showed up. Yeah. And they were like, "Dude, whose Lambo is it?" I was like, "I don't know. I, I didn't saw know." That too. I was like, "That's not someone I work." Tell him it's mine. Yeah. I did. I, <laughs> you were gone by then, so I couldn't Darn say. It. Yeah. yeah. I, I would have said it's Ke probably Kelly's, but I couldn't say that. I'm at that flashy moment. like that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Eddie, yeah, cool guy. Yeah, he's nice. Very I like nice. Him a lot. He's a nice guy. Very nice guy. Don't make fun of him, Al. All right. I will now protect him. He was giving me a hard time because he was like, "Why didn't you come to Mexico with everyone?" I was like, "Because I need a break." Yeah. I need a break from all y'all, you know? I mean, I was just kind of kidding. He was like, oh. I was like, no, I'm kind of kidding. Kind of <laughs> not. Yeah, he said Al was bailing on him quite a bit on this trip. Dude, we went out strong the first night when we were in Mexico, mm -hmm. and then after that, it was early night every night after. No, it was early night for you. It was Because well, they were me. still partying. Yeah, I, I hit it hard that first night. Then I said to spend the rest of the weekend kind of making up for it. I'm sitting down. Why am I sitting down? I don't know. I don't know. I Low know energy sitting. today? I yeah. sat down the entire show today. Yeah. You tired? Yeah, yeah yesterday tired. was tired. My energy is low. It's tired, yeah. And I'm just tired. I don't know heels to fun. work, which like is not fun to stand in for hours. Well, yesterday yeah. I had that excuse. Today I'm wearing flats, but I don't. I don't. Is it because Mercury's in retrograde? It is in retrograde My right now. My energy level is yeah, kaput. and plummeted. Probably or whatever. You I drink. had two vodkas. That's all. I didn't drink yesterday, and I don't. And I don't feel the energy. And I even told yeah. Cheddar I was thinking about having a cup of coffee after the show. Ended. Right. That's crazy. Right. Shout then, out. And yeah, I don't drink I'm, coffee. I'm thinking uh, about having one more, and it's a little late for me, too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's like you're so, you feel so depleted that you don't want to work out, but you know if you work out, you'll feel better. That's what'll but give you it'll give you energy. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of coffee. Yeah. It leads us to the question of the day because Dawn wrote us and said, and she doesn't talk about it, but I have one that goes along with it. Does anyone enjoy strange food combinations? I like to dip my egg rolls in relish. Ooh. Ooh, some people. See, I thought this was a smart combination. When I do drink coffee, 
I will put a scoop of protein powder in it because that's like the. A lot of people do stuff like that. And They'll it, use protein uh, drink as the creamer. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, my wife was saying that yeah, was I weird. I make protein shakes with cold coffee. Okay, good. Mm. I like to put Worcestershire sauce in my pizza, on my pizza. Mm-hmm. Ooh. The Mexican, though, salsa inglesa. I put that on my pizza. If you've never tried it, try it. It's so good. I had to stop, but I went through a phase these last couple months. I blame weight gain on alcohol, but it's probably because I was putting tartar sauce on everything. Ooh, you like tartar sauce. I love tartar sauce. There's some sort of lemon dill tartar sauce they sell at Whole Foods that I bought to eat with my salmon. So then I started eating like more tartar sauce than salmon. salmon. And then I was dipping my carrots in it. And then I finally Mm -hmm. looked at the nutritional content because I thought tartar would be the same as ranch. Way worse. Is it? Oh, it's mayonnaise. Way more it, fattening basically. than ranch dressing. Oh. Way worse. And I was eating tartar sauce on everything. I'm so like, good. carrot, celery, tartar sauce. <laughs> oh, did you see that ice cream, the, the mayo uh, I don't ice cream? Want that. I don't think I'm going to try that. I'm I interested. I, I love try. mayonnaise. So. I love mayonnaise. When I was a little girl, I used to eat it by the spoonful. Yeah, you brought me good mayonnaise. Yeah. It's mayonnaise yes. sandwiches. Duke's yeah. mayonnaise is the best mayonnaise. People from the South know it. And it slowly, it finally came to Texas. It's finally making its way out I here. I loved yeah. it. Any strange food combinations for you, Kelly? I don't think they're strange because they're mine. So I can't think of anything that right. strikes me as strange. But Alan's has, Alan hasn't said, oh, that's I weird. I put ranch on a lot of things. I'll use, you know, put ketchup in my mashed potatoes sometimes because yeah. it's just French fries. It's yeah. different, yeah. I love, you know, he, um, Heinz 57 is expensive lately. I know. I was waiting for the price to come down, and it wouldn't. So I finally splurged on a bottle. <laughs> and uh, Alan, oh his, you know, he's like a steak purist. I was like, uh-huh. I need to try it. And he tried it, and he's like, oh, my gosh. That's I good. love Heinz 57. Me, too. You got to try it sometimes. I made something interesting yesterday. You know, the tuna, I've been trying to eat healthier again. So yeah. the tuna packets that you can buy different flavors. Yeah. I told my mom to get me the uh, sriracha one, but she got me all flavors but but she gave me they have jalapeno now mm-hmm. they also have buffalo yep so she got buffalo so i actually made tuna salad in the packet like i put relish and pickles and a little bit of mayonnaise and like mix it all together and then i ate it on cucumber slices yeah oh man that's healthy ish but pretty healthy yeah right. no bread it was really good i used to have uh i don't anymore because i found out it's not really good for you but i thought it was healthy the egg yolk just raw egg yolk with sugar and you blend it together and, wow. ew, and do what? Eat it. Raw? Yeah. Like slurp it? That was like my kid. That was my dessert as a kid. I don't like that idea. <clears throat> it's so good. I used to love, as a kid, I used to love, and this takes me back, black-eyed peas and spaghetti and meatballs mm. mixed All together? up together. Yes. Gosh, my mom always tried to get me into black-eyed peas. Oof. They're I love good. black-eyed peas. Oh, you don't like so them? Good. No, I don't. Well, they taste very bland and earthy to oh, me. Oh, they are earthy, but very you got to put, dirty. like, big ham hocks in it. Oh, in yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So They're good. very earthy. There's a big right. old block of pork off in there. Ooh. Yeah, I think I just, I don't like the dirt. Like, I, don't, I have a hard time with beets, too, yeah. for that reason. Love I can beets. drink them juiced, but. So good. Any other weird food combinations for you, Al? No. Uh, ranch. Ranch and well, everything. Ranch and everything. <laughs> that's not weird because everybody, yeah, does, not that. everybody yeah. does that. Right. Um, I caught my daughter uh, drinking it straight from the bottle the other day. Ranch. That's weird. Yeah, that's I too much. I used to Pepto Bismol from the bottle. I thought it was. Good I do that all the kid. time. I love oh. Pepto. I oh, it it's gonna make me sick. Oh, I used to keep it by my bed in college. Keep it in the refrigerator. Oof. Cold yeah. Pepto is the best. Your stomach was always on point. You though. know what I miss that they don't give us anymore as adults? Whatever that medicine was when I used to have respiratory infections that they give to kids. Cody, but it's the pink. Oh. Like it looks like Pepto, but it's pink. They do not give it to us now as adults because yeah, they give I us seem pills to, to swallow. That. But it was hmm. some sort of delicious antibiotic. Mm. Oh, it tasted like it tasted way better than Pepto too. So good medicine. So good. I want some of that. Well, there you go, Don. There's your question <laughs> no, answered. We're talking about medicine. Do you have any weird food company? <laughs> uh, if you want to be the question of the day, drop it in the comment section. We'll do another extra for you tomorrow. And coming up tomorrow, we got love letters to Kelly. Yep. We got whatever Wednesday. We'll honor another military member. And we're going to honor another military member. Go to KidNation.com if you would like to nominate someone you know that's mm-hmm. uh, making the community a better place. And they served in the military. So Wonder Bread could hook, it up, hook them up with something nice. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, Kid Nation. Have a great day. And don't forget to watch Kid Nation TV. If you're in Dallas, 4.30 on Channel 27. And if you're in Houston, it's on at 11.30, 11, I 12 believe. 30, 12 12 12 30. 30. On Fox 26. On Fox 26. There you go. And then we'll have them online when they, when they get released so everybody else can watch it. Bye, Kid Nation. Bye.